Hi guys, I thought today we'd try a little project uh, using a hatchet, crooked knife, and a piece of dried wood that I think might be maple, but I'm not sure. And uh, we'll see if we can turn that into a spoon. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, so I've got a piece of wood here that I don't know how suitable it's going to be, but we'll give it a try. Um, thinking of turning this into a spoon with this uh, deeply cupped uh, knotted part, maybe removing the bottom part of the knot, being becoming the bowl, and the handle being this sort of uh, curvy bit, so you could you know, hold the, the spoon like this, or maybe like that. And, uh, you know, and have the bowl here for, uh, for dipping. And the tools that I'm going to be trying to use is this uh, crooked knife that uh, I made well, I made the blade for it probably a year ago and finally got around to uh, finishing off the handle. And uh, this is sort of an interesting tool in that nothing about it is straight and that's intentional. The idea is that it fits your hand kind of like this and winds up having a nice uh, straight edge so you can get good pulling power and also has this uh, very curved blade and uh, a chisel shaped bevel here so it's completely flat on the bottom and angled downwards and comes to a razor edge and uh, this curvy bit here hopefully will be uh, useful for carving out the bowl part of the spoon and for the, uh, the heavier work, we'll uh, use this uh, uh, Grand Forks Brooks uh, hatchet that, amazingly enough, was a wedding present for me. So not your standard wedding present, and uh, so much appreciated, Paul. So we'll get started. This will be really the first time I've done this, uh, making, a, making a spoon. So we'll see how it goes. So to speed the process up a little bit, I uh, just used a saw to remove some of the excess here and uh, part of the knot here and, and the end, and uh, drawn sort of a vague outline, I don't know if you can see it with the, the light behind, a uh, vague outline of, um, of the spoon, maybe if I stand with my back to the light and see sort of uh, kind of what I'm thinking of. And of course, this will be in, in three dimensions because the, uh, the handle is going to be wavy. And I thought this was sort of interesting. Um, the contrast in color here where the knot was may be kind of neat. And uh, you know, it looks like we've got a nice uh, dark center, so maybe we'll see some of that come out in, uh, in the spoon as we go. So let's start whacking away with the hatchet and removing some material. We're making a little bit of progress. Just been using the, uh, the hatchet thus far. And uh, yeah, looks a bit like a hatchet job still. Um, but that's to be expected. So we'll continue whittling away. Okay, still continuing on, and seems like things are making decent progress. Um, so we're at uh, the point now where you know I had um, sort of a rough guideline along the side, and sort of uh, at the point now where I'm drawing out again just a rough guideline, uh, highly subject to change, uh, depending on uh, errors and what I decide I like better or not as we go. Um, yeah, so we'll get this sort of curved down a little bit closer. 
and uh, then we'll work on the bowl. And uh, again, we've just been uh, continuing along with the hatchet. It really does make pretty short work of these larger cuts. Okay, so still making progress. We're getting a little bit closer to um, the handle shape dimension. Um, yeah. So now we'll remove this material under here. Uh, actually, before I, I tackle this, this part here, I'm going to start to rough out the bowl um, just so that this piece of wood has some mechanical strength left from when I'm. Uh, you know, hammering on this thing with the with the hatchet, I don't want to break this, so I'll leave this uh, until a little bit uh, a little bit further along. Yeah, happy so far. We'll see how how it continues. Okay, so we've got the bowl sort of roughed out, and uh, just sort of working on uh, on the gouge. So using the the end of the uh, the crooked knife, uh, the curved edge. And yeah, making some progress. Just uh, thought I'd film this momentarily just so you can see how the, uh, how the curve or the, the hook on the end of the blade works. Now, this would be a lot easier with a softer wood. Um, this is maple that's been seasoned probably for uh, over a year, maybe two years now. So it requires a little bit of effort. Well, a lot of effort. <laughs> I'm quite happy with the blade on this uh, hook knife. I mean, I, I, it, as well as the handle. And I knew the blade would actually do well. It's uh, O2, O2 tool steel. And uh, after I heat treated it, um, I, I drilled a couple of holes here for uh, the mounting screws when I first made the blade. Um, thought I had the right dimension for the holes. Heat treated it and I hardened it. And uh, then when I eventually got around to making the handle, um, for me, I, I kind of think the handle looks a little bit like a whale. Uh, my wife seems to think it looks like something else, but anyways, <laughs> that's besides the point. So uh, I discovered that the uh, these holes were too small for the screws that I wanted to use, and so I had to drill them out larger, and that turned out to be an absolutely monumental task. The steel was so hard. Um, it took me two days of trying and about four drill bits to finally get through the, uh, the hardened blade. So, yeah. We'll see how it holds up after, after all this. Anyways, we'll, we'll get back to it and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. So I'll show you what we've got so far. Uh, the handle is starting to be roughly shaped uh, into a handle dimension. It's still quite rough, and there's there's uh, a lot of meat left on still to come off. But uh, you know, it's it's looking better. Uh, we've got a little bit. Yeah, maybe if I block the light here, you can see um, a little bit more, a little bit carved out in in the bowl area. Um, still more to go. Um, but I think we'll uh, we'll leave off here for tonight, and uh, maybe I'll give this. The bird's not happy that I'm talking in the basement at 11.30 at night. <laughs> so we'll leave this off for, for tonight and uh, we'll pick this up on another evening, maybe tomorrow or, or on the weekend. And we'll hopefully be able to get mostly a finished uh, product out of it. So here's what we got, uh, what we've got sort of after the end of day two. And day two is a short day. Um, so I guess uh, yesterday 
probably put in about an hour, hour and a half of work on this little guy. Um, today I've really uh, only been doing this for 45 minutes. Um, but perhaps you can see we've got the, uh, the bowl reasonably uh, hollowed out here and a little bit of shape to the handle and we're getting sort of close to the uh, to the lines. Um, probably next stage will be uh, removing some of this uh, underneath area. I have a feeling we're going to wind up losing most of this uh, knot because none of it's showing through on the inside and that's probably a good thing. Um, this knot would probably had it come to the inside of the bowl would be uh, a weak spot that would wind up coming out or leaking eventually. Um, but we're getting there. Probably uh, one more you know, half hour or so session to round things out. Uh, to round things out and uh, then we'll start the finishing work which will be um, you know, sandpaper of, of various grits and then uh, some oil and more sandpaper and then some water treatments. But we'll talk about that when we get to it. So, until next time. So just a quick update. Um, spent another half hour this morning uh, doing some more shaping. We're starting to look a little bit more uh, spoon shaped. Uh, still a little bit more to do. Um, this here's the uh, the knot <laughs> that came off the uh, the back. I thought I'd uh, shorten the the work by uh, sawing off uh, a bit and uh, rounding things out. So that's what we, what we've got so far. Okay, so just another quick update. Mm, getting towards final shape, and I think we're pretty close. Um, rounded off the handle a little bit and next step I believe uh, we'll do some uh, coarse sanding and see how it goes from there. And here's what we've got after uh, a rough sanding on the outside. I didn't do the, the bowl yet but starting to look decidedly spoon-like. Um, yeah, there'll still be some refining and a little bit more rough sanding to do and we'll figure out how to do the inside either steel wool or just uh, by hand with some small bits of coarse sandpaper and uh, yeah, progressing along. So far pretty happy with how things are turning out. So here we are after the sanding's been done. Um, did the rough sanding with 60 grit sandpaper then moved up to 100 and uh, finished with 220. So um, things are nice and smooth. And we're at the final dimension and yeah, pretty happy with the shape. So next step, and we're very near the end now, is to uh, to soak things in water for a little bit, maybe, I don't know, a couple of minutes in, in warm water and let it dry out. And that will probably raise, uh, raise the grain and make it feel a little rough again. And uh, you know, then we'll sand it again with the uh, 220 sandpaper and maybe do that again and so you know that way when it's actually being used uh, in liquids it you know the, the grain won't raise and it won't be rough because we'll have sort of pre pre uh, roughened it and then sanded that smooth and really that's the last stage and then I'll rub a bit of oil into it and we'll call it done so um, yeah we'll come back when it's completely done and uh, see what it looks like and um, see if we have any final thought. Hi guys, um, so we're basically calling project done. Um, so we've got uh, the spoon here, uh, final sanding done. Uh, did the water treatment twice and glad I did that. Uh, and all that entails is just uh, soaking it in warm water for a couple of minutes and letting it dry and um, the, the wood goes from feeling smooth from the initial sanding to feeling rough again. Just sand it again with the 220 and uh, dunk it in the water again for a couple of more minutes. And the second time around it doesn't feel nearly so rough and just smooth it, to, uh, uh, sand it smooth again and, and you're done. So then after that um, just uh, apply a 
coat of mineral oil, which essentially is just, uh, baby oil. If you go to uh, the um, a grocery store or drug store, if you get unscented baby oil, that's all that is. And uh, yeah, it seems to bring out the, the lines quite nicely in it. And once that was done, um, just tied a, a, a diamond knot on the end so that we can hang, hang this guy from a hook and uh, have him ready for action in the kitchen. Um, so the whole project took somewhere in the five and a half to six hour range to, to finish. Um, so it isn't too bad. Actually, most of the time was just uh, being finicky about the sanding. Um, if I left it a bit rougher, then it would have taken way less time. Um, and we also did a little measurement. Uh, we took one of Ange's uh, baking measuring spoons um, that measures exactly one tablespoon, filled that with sugar, and dumped the sugar in here, and it <laughs> basically filled it perfectly. So this is as close to one tablespoon as a uh, even had I been trying to go for a specific measurement, um, it's as close as I could have gotten. So that yeah, worked out very fortuitous, fortuitous that way. Um, and um, also really happy with uh, how my crooked knife performed. It's my first time, uh, not only just using this one, which is a you know a, a homemade, handmade uh, knife. It's my first time ever using a crooked knife. And um, yeah, you know it, it pulls it. Just like a spoke shave, like a one-handed spoke shave, and um, the uh, the rounded part here actually did quite a good job on the bowl. So, yeah, really quite happy with uh, how all this turned out, and I've uh, already got an order for uh, another one or two of uh, of different sizes and types from from Ange. So, uh, yeah, maybe there'll be a few more of these in the future. But anyways, I just wanted to. Uh, show you guys my little experiment and to see how it's done and and you know maybe not done in some ways but I think it uh, really could couldn't have worked out much better for a, for a first attempt so I don't know it's uh, something you guys might want to try yourselves so thanks a lot for watching oh and maybe we'll do um, a separate video just on how to do the diamond knot nice little practical and decorative sort of a thing and uh, pretty easy to do so maybe we'll do that uh, in the future. So, anyways, take care and thanks a lot for watching.